Welcome back to the show. Now, we never want to see a racetrack close, and although State Line Speedway hasn't been closed for all that long, there are some questions whether we would ever see racing at that facility again. Oh, yes, I heard a lot of disappointed fans and drivers. Now, right before the race, I did meet up with the new co-owner, Bill Catania. Okay, so tonight is the grand reopening of State Line, and you have a wonderful evening planned. Yeah, we, we couldn't be more lucky. The weather tonight is unbelievable. Uh, we have cars still coming in uh, two hours after the pit gates open and have top drivers like Chubb Frank and Mike Knight and some from down around Pittsburgh uh, like Davey Johnson and Dan Stone here. So we're pretty excited about what we have uh, tonight on tap, and, and the fans are, are lined up all the way to the road. So uh, we're blessed with a great night. We put a lot of work. Uh, two months with uh, about 35 people a day working to get the track in shape. Now you have a really big feature here with a lot of money that's going out. We do. It's tonight's the, the first ever uh, Papa Don Frank Memorial. Uh, Don Frank was a founder of the track. He built State Line with four others, and uh, we're going to honor him tonight. You, know, you think about the 4th of July and uh, what, it, what it stands for, being a pioneer and, and uh, taking risks for something you believe in, and that's what they did when they built this track, and here we are 59 years later. In the 58 lap, $5,800 to win super late model feature, number 14, Dick Barton, the winningest active driver at State Line with 78 victories, would take the initial lead of the race from the pole position. He would hold the point position until lap 24, when Chubb Frank in the white number one would work to the outside of Barton to take the lead. On lap 32, Robbie Blair, who started in the 10th position, passed Barton for second and began working on Frank. Blair continued to race to Frank's outside until on lap 43 he was able to take over the lead as they exit turn two. For the remaining 15 laps, Robbie Blair pulled away from Chubb Frank to claim the $5,800 top prize. Congratulations on your win, Robbie. Now, Barton had been hugging the bottom, and that's how Chubb was able to get the lead. Were you surprised that Chubb then hugged the bottom, allowing you to take the lead? No, I mean, uh, almost everybody was just running around the infield there. Uh, my car was, you know, earlier earlier in the race, I was able to pass some cars up there. And, you know, I could get off that corner a little better on the bottom most of the time, but then once, you know, there was no sense in following them guys. I wasn't going to pass them doing that, so I just started moving up, and it just it kept getting better and better and better. Like, I think the racetrack just started getting cleaner and cleaner and, and allowed, allowed you to run up the racetrack. Well, now, we noticed as uh, spectators that it was very dusty. Does that affect you as drivers? No, on the racetrack, it wasn't It wasn't too bad on the racetrack. A lot of times, you know, it, 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 it looks worse in the stands because it actually just blows up into the stands. But on the racetrack, it wasn't bad. Okay. Well, now, how do you feel about being back at State Line? Oh, this is awesome. I mean, we, we just live, a, you know, 45 minutes away. And, you know, the racetrack was awesome. Uh, I, I haven't seen this many, this many people at a, at a racetrack around here in a long time. I mean, I, I think this guy's going to make this uh, into a really good deal. And do you plan to return? Uh, yeah, uh, probably not every week, but whenever we can, we'll probably race here. Excellent, and we look forward to watching you again. All righty, thank you. Chubb Frank held on to second. Mike Knight, who started the race in the 14th position, came home third ahead of Greg Oaks and Dick Barton. Now, I never heard any attendance figures, and I'm not sure the state line officials know at this point how many people were there, but it was a lot of people. Yes, well, I know the stands can hold 5,800. They were full, and there were also people on the sides. Oh, yeah. Now, there is a rumor that's been going around for a very long time that State Line is actually on the Pennsylvania New York State Line, and that half of the track is in New York and the other half is in Pennsylvania. Right. Yep, I've heard that's that. That's one of the reasons why we went, even though we do say we only go to Pennsylvania tracks. But it turns out the track is completely on the New York side. Yeah, the Pennsylvania border is just a little bit down the road. Now, coming up next, we will go back to Grandview Speedway for some rock modifieds. Keep it here. When a catastrophic injury or illness impacts your life, we're here to help you get it back. With our personalized treatment plans, dedicated team of specialists, the most inventive technologies, and a coordinated approach to recovery, this is more than just rehabilitation. This is a higher level of care. 